and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, an absolutely great story today. Now that in a moment, things are still very busy over on Patreon. Uh, tomorrow we'll have another crossword video to go with Simon's Sisyphus video, Demono's Solution video, loads of stuff going on over there. Um, on Discord, of course, we have Marge's ongoing um, search for her legacy, I think, um, left to her by her grandfather who left that video message. And what a charming man he was, I felt. Definitely uh, worth checking in to Discord if you can see the Puzzle Hunt um, channel there. Now, there's also some merch, actually. That's quite important to me. Um, we've been working on getting some really good merchandise done, and there's a link in the description field that'll take you to even more than the 12 items available in the store here. Um, there is a Knowledge Bomb logo on some of it now, which is, I think, quite good fun. Um, but you can also play this puzzle on the link below the video. And yesterday I featured a puzzle by Ranks, who is a friend of the channel. And what I did not know at all was that Ranks was about to propose to his girlfriend yesterday. That has occurred. She has said yes, I'm told. And um, Rank's sister, Jessica, who is a com constructor in her own right, we did her menorah puzzle at least um, last Hanukkah, has sent us this engagement present um, for the happy couple, which is absolutely charming touch. Um, D and E are the initials, so E, very much welcome to um, Jessica and David's Sudoku family. Um, I hope you enjoy our videos, because I think your future may involve some of them, as well as Rank's own. Now, um, what is going on in the puzzle here? Well, we've got normal Sudoku rules. Cages show their sums. Uh, normal killer rules there, basically. We have coloured the killer rules red. I'll come back to that in a second. X and V cells are provided and the negative constraint does apply here. So every pair of cells that neighbour each other and add up to 10 in the grid are marked with an X. And every pair of cells that neighbour each other and add up to 5 are marked with a V. So those two add up to 5. Those two do not add up to 5 or 10, whereas those two add up to 10. So that's how the X and V work. We've got the killer cages. That's all we get. Um, we're, I'm certainly looking forward to this. Now, the red colouring is irrelevant to the solving. That is just to denote the initials. But I am going to solve it with the red. Some of the rest of you may be unromantic and prefer to solve it without the red colouring. Now, we will either give you a link to solve it that way, or we will give you a URL um, that allows you to choose to have it coloured or not, um, which is currently being worked on as I speak, and maybe we'll be able to give you that in the link below the video this time and instructions on how to use it. So one or the other, but either way, you'll be able to play this without the red colouring if you prefer not to tribute the happy couple as Jessica is doing. So well done to her for producing this instantly and... Uh, I'm looking forward to having a go at it. I'm going to try now. Let's get cracking. And although there's no given digits in the grid, look, this is effectively a given. We can put a one in that tiny cage straight away. Um, and yes, these two add up to 10. In a 19 cage, that means this remainder must be nine. That gives us an X and a V straight away. So we've got digits in the grid right from the get go. This 3 is a 2-1 pair R. Ah, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What am I seeing here? Yeah, this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 box. That is either... Yeah, this one has to be 3 or 4, going with a 1 or a 2 there. This is 3, 4 or 5. We've got... Well, I don't know what from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 there. This can't be a 1, 6, 7 because of that 1. So again, it's using 2, 3, 4, and 5. 
this can't be a five. Oh, neither of those can be a five because they've got symbols. Right, so that is a three, four pair. Sorry, I was a bit slow to see that. So three, four come out of that. This is a one, two, five set. That is a three, four pair at the top. Hmm, either that doesn't get a V, so it's either... 3, 1, or 4, 2, otherwise there'd be a V between them. Now, down here, these must be 1 and 2 to go with Vs on the 3 and 4. So to go with the Xs outside them, they have 8 and 9. We get a 4 in one of those two cells. Could take a 6 there or not. Um, right. So we've got a nice good start, especially with the D. Um, but now I am looking around for something else. What have I missed from the information we've gained so far? That can't be 1-9. No, I don't know. Oh, this is 6 or 7 because it's got an X with a 3 or 4. Okay, if that was a 4, this would be a 9-7 pair. How can we use that? I don't know. 9-7 pair there. Ah, oh, look, this central column has four dominoes, all with Xs. So that lot adds up to 4 times 10. That's 40. Um, the secret of the numbers 1 to 9 is that they add up to 45. I can't believe you know these things already without me telling you. Well done. Right. 5. Actually, 5, yes. 5 is in one of those two cells. 5 can never be on an X or a V. So now we know it can't be in those cells. We know we can place it in box 7. It's going to be in, oops, in one of those two in box 1. One of those two in box 9. Hmm, and that ran dry quickly. It could be a 5. Ah, this X pair is either 2, 8 or 3, 7. And there's a 2 looking at it from there, so it can't be that way round. Um... Now, there's a 1, 2, 3, 4 group at the top because they're all on Vs. Oh, this isn't going to actually be a colouring puzzle. I'm wondering now that I meant to colour all the low digits versus all the highs or something. That would be quite interesting. I hadn't thought of that at this stage. Ah, oh, th no, that X... This V, I don't know how to determine that. Ah, oh, there's a one or two there, though. Hmm, going to fill in the one, two, three, four possibilities. That is actually the last V that I hadn't touched at this point. We have a six, seven, eight, nine combination in that little two by two box. Right, this can't be 1 or 2 because of the row, so that can't be 3 or 4 because of the V. <clears throat> 3, 4, 1, 2. Ah, so we've now got a 3, 4 pair. Sorry. I could have seen that this was a 1, 2, 3, 4 triple before. I didn't. Oh, that didn't resolve this. It's still got possibilities, although this is a low number now as well. And there are no low numbers here or here because we've got all the... One, two, three, fours in boxes one and two. So these two must both be low numbers. And in fact, the one in this row can't be there because of the one, two pair. Can't be anywhere there because one must be in the top row. It's got to be here. And this is not four because it would join on with a one using a V. So that's a 2-3 pair. So we get a 4 here. Now we're going. We get a 3 there. This can't be a 2 or it would need a V. This is a 1 on the V. That's a 2-5 pair. This is now not a 1-4 combination. It's a 2-3. That's 7 or 8 accordingly.
Has there got to be? Yeah, there's got to be a 4 in this 18 cage in this row. Um, but then it could be 495 or 468. Yeah, I can't see how to resolve that. And this could still be 4, 6 if that 4 was there. So, ah, oh, this can't have a 2 or a 3 on it, this x. So it's either 1, 9 or 6, 4. Has to be that way round because this row is seeing that with both a 1 and a 4 effectively. Now, how about this 14 cage? It's got a 2 or a 3 in it, so the other two add up to 12 or 11. That's not very helpful totals. Um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah, this has to be high because it's in a row that sees 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that means this has to be low, and it must be a 4. Yes, because um, 1, 2, and 3 can see that cell in the row already. This is a very neat puzzle. So 6 there. This is not a 6, 4 pair. That's not a 1. Um, excuse me a moment. I'd better get... Yes, the curse of the COVID age is constant deliveries. Um, maybe you don't suffer from that. Right, 3 there has made this a 4. 1. This is a 2, 3 pair. So why I'm hitting the wrong buttons, I don't know. That can't be a 9 anymore. So we've got a 7-8 pair and a 2-3 pair. This is 4 or 6 there because it, yes, brilliant. 2-3-7-8 and 5 and 1-9 all looking at this cell. So that's 4 or 6. So it goes with a 4 or 6. We now know that this is a 9-1 pair. Now we might be able to get flying. That can't be a 4 anymore. So in this row, this has to be the 4. Um, this 10 is not 6, 4 or 9, 1. Uh, doesn't mean I know what it is. 2, 3, we've got 9 and 5 to go in up here. Now, does that help here? 5, 3, 6, 5, 2, 7. But also, yes, it can't be 9, it can't be a 9 here, because that would have to be 2, 3 for the sum. Sorry, slow maths there. That's a 5, 6 pair. Then 4 has to be up here somewhere. Uh, 4 is not here. These two add up to 40. Can't do that yet. Um, 5 must be in one of these cells in the 20 cage. So it's a 5, 8, 7 cage, therefore. This one can't be an 8. 5, 7, 8, 4, 6, 9. So this is not 7 or 8. 1 in the column must be there. Ah, oh, we've got a 5 definitely in one of those cells. So that's fixed that. Yes, of course. 5, 8 pair. This is a 6, 7 pair on this side. Ah, oh, but these, yeah, those have to add to 9, so I don't know which way round they go yet. Uh, 9, 1, 3, 4. No, I can't quite see what to do there. 5, 6, we've got 4, 9, and 7 or 8 up here. Oh, that 5 has fixed the 5, at least, in box 1. There's a 5 in one of those and a 5 in one of those. So we have to have a 5 in this row. But I don't know whether it goes in there with a 9 or outside, which it certainly can do. Yeah, it can. Um, right, we're not done yet. 1 or 2 cannot be in this, so it's either 3, 7 or 4, 6. Um, if it was 4, 6, it would be that way round, but it could be 3, 7. Ah, oh, that has become a 2. Oh, didn't see that from above earlier. Sorry, here we go. 1, 2. So that fixes the 3 and the 4. It fixes the 8 and the 9. Um, we've got 5, 6, 3 to go in here. That 
Ah, we have 2, 8, 7 to place here, and 2 cannot be next to 8, or there would be another x. So 7 has to separate those two lovebirds. Um, and this can now not be a 7. Five, six, two, eight, 3, that has to be a naked single 3. We've got a 4, 7 pair there. 3, 6, and 9 down here. That's an 8 to finish the box. That's now a 2, 3, 7, 8, 2, 3. Nice when it starts falling. 7 and 6 are up here. Ah, 7 can't be next to 3 without an X, so we know which way around they go. 8, uh, eight can't be next to 2 without an X. So we are getting everything done now. Again, 8 can't be next to 2, so that's resolved. This is 7 and 9, and one of them is next to 1. So we do know that's next to a 3. Could have done that ages ago. 7 and 9, 4 and 6, 3 there. Looks like it's all coming. That's clearly not a 5, and this can't be a 4. So we can fill in the 7. 1, 3, 7, 9, 2. We've got 5 and 9. We'll go in there now to make the sum work. Oh, I thought 5 was going to be outside after all. Right, this can't be 9, 1, 7, 3, or 8, 2. It's 4, 6, 2, 3, and 2. 3, 7, 2 there. We've got 4, 8, 9 at the top. And 5, 6 here, 6, 5 here, 7 and 6. These are all disambiguated by regular Sudoku, and that is the finish to the puzzle. Looks good to me. So well done. Thank you, Jessica. Sincere congratulations uh, to David and his fiance. And um, great pleasure to bring you that puzzle now. And... Uh, to congratulate our friend Ransk, and uh, we hope you have a very long and happy marriage eventually. Um, once you <laughs> manage to have a ceremony during COVID, I hope I hope it'll be a good one. Uh, thank you very much for watching the channel, as always, and uh, hope to see you again tomorrow for another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.